What's going on? What's going on, guys? This is Mobius B117. Um, coming in with a dry run through of how to update. Um, I only say dry because this is my razor that was on the a leak that was actually doing my recordings. Um, that was actually doing, yeah, pretty much doing all my uh, recordings on the Razor Max that's now recording. Um, and unfortunately, I forgot to up, uh, record the official update on this one. Um, so again, this is a dry run through. It is, I can't show you the complete steps, but in a sense, I can do this a lot quicker without actually having to do the whole weight thing. I still don't have my laptop, um, and of course, I can't, I don't have my video software. So, um, things you'll need you're gonna go here, you want to download uh, OTA Root Keeper. Um, pretty much, you're gonna have to be rooted to complete what this process, um, I guess the process that we're going to do right now. Um, there are many ways to do it. The way I'm going to do it right now is the way that I've been able to do it on six devices with no fails as of now. Six devices. Um, I want to get that numbers greater and I also want to see what kind of um, problems or issues that are coming up um, well, as you're going through this process. Um, so you want the OTA Root Keeper. Um, and then also, let's go ahead and just, uh, search this up. The ES file, sh uh, file explorer, it is free on the marketplace. Um, sh usually it's the first one. You want to go ahead and get that. Um, again, I recommend that you get rooted on your, uh, GB device. Your GB, um, your Droid Razor or Razor Max needs to be on stock at the very minimum. It could be rooted, but nothing else past that. We can't. You can't have any altered uh, system files. You cannot uh, change the read ahead on your SD card. Um, it needs to be completely stock. I strongly recommend this. If you're not on stock and you don't have a way to revert back, I recommend you download the Droid uh, Droid Razor Utilities um, program. Uh, I recommend the 1.6. Because the 1.6 allows you to flash a um, stock uh, .a, uh, 181. Um, you can go ahead and do uh, download the the 1.7 and just use option 1. I just had greater success using uh, the 1.6. Um, anyways, so you're getting to here. I'm completely rooted, but this is completely stock. Uh, again, I can't really show you the whole thing because this is still on ICS. Um... Just to make sure that you guys do see, um, right here, 6.16.211, uh, I'm sorry, um, um, 4.0.4. So, here is your dry run. Um, you're going to go into your, um, into your, uh, drawer, your uh, app drawer. You're going to go ahead, when you first set this up, it will look like this, um, pretty much what you want to do is just to be able to find the files in um, greater detail and uh, I guess to speed things up you want to go ahead and go into view go ahead and check list go into size go into sm uh, check small um, you want to up to root you want to have that checked because you want to go past your SD card this your home directory it will have forward slash SD card floors uh, forward slash Go ahead and delete everything all the way up to the forward slash. Uh, let me go ahead and just uh, get up here. Um, sorry for the... There it is. Uh, go ahead and get it up to that far. Um, and then at the bottom, this is, what you're, this is what's needed to be able to do what you need to do. At the bottom, you want to check off Root Explorer. From Root Explorer, it's going to say yes. If um, for the first time, you guys will have... Uh, an SU um, saying if you want to cancel or go ahead, go ahead and check that. Um, when you check this, you want to be able to uh, write on the system. Um, that's because um, I have my file on the SD card. So let me go ahead and uh, refocus. SD card. Your f the files that I have uploaded are the blur version. 6.12.181 if you don't know already how to use this or how Motorola updates uh, their files or how they name their files um, 
Motorola pretty much has the name at at the current um, firmware and um, system setting that you have on your device as of now. Um, that's why you need to be on completely stock. Um, if there's something wrong and uh, the update can't verify signatures or cannot verify an update uh, file, it will fail. I guarantee you. So I do have the the zip file and the CRC file. I'm told you, you don't need the CRC file, but I put it in there anyway. Um, so on the top, you're going to hit multi-select, click these two, uh, actually check those two. Go ahead and hit the, man, this thing is, uh, go ahead and hit the copy button in the middle. So you're going to go ahead and copy that. Um, you're going to hit the back button. Um, you're going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the top where it says cache. From cache, you're going to go ahead and put the update files in here. You're actually going to hit the paste button up here. Um, since this is already an ICS ready, I, I can already, I already done it already. Um, from here, you're going to back out. You're going to do the, the reset. Pretty much that is the power button and the volume button down at the same time. Um, oh, by the way, that's how ICS takes screenshots now. Uh, if you hold down the power button and the volume down button. So you're going to hit that. You're going to hit volume up and volume down at the same time to get into AP Fast Boot. Um, from this point, you want to go... Let me see if I can get it to focus. Damn. Just keep moving my hands. Um, so you're going to be on normal boot to, sh um, I guess, scroll... You can only scroll down. Bear in mind, do not scroll up. Scroll up actually is the enter button. So you're going to scroll down to recovery. Hit up uh, to actually enter into recovery. Uh, let's see if I can just zoom in. From here, you'll get into the recovery mode on here. Um, hopefully, I didn't jack anything up in here. Uh, getting into these settings uh, just give it some time to actually get into here it um, again this is you hit uh, volume down volume up get into these settings what you're gonna see is these settings in here as soon as this damn thing auto focuses um, do it do it okay you know what I don't have time for this um, let me see if I can get it to read. There you go. There you go. So the first option now has reboot system, apply update from external uh, storage, wipe data factory, apply cache part, uh, wipe cache partition, and apply update from cache. A lot of people are doing the apply update from external, which if you click on it, you can click on here. Um, I've seen a lot of. Um, brick device, uh, soft bricks out there where they're stuck at the M logo, um, and I actually did the whole apply from cash. So what I did is I applied from cash, um, here you go, let me see if I can get it down here. So the last option, apply from, uh, apply from cash, get it in there, click on it, it will up update from the CRC and the update.zip file. Um, now, if for some reason you are stuck, um, you reboot and you get the M logo, um, the Motorola logo stuck, it doesn't turn off for more than two minutes, um, or you get past that and you get the Droid animation, uh, the Droid uh, boot animation, but it just boot loops, um, trust me, you'll know. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, provide you another link. Um, so pretty much I'm going to just get out of here um, just because I'm already on ICS already. So bear the mess on here guys. Um, I already have my computer set up already. Sorry guys if you guys are looking at this. Uh, my computer is already set up to do this already. Um, when you do use uh, the droid utilities, it's it's mandatory uh, at this time, at the very at the very least, it's mandatory to actually put it onto your C drive. Um, from your C drive, as you can see, I have two of them because I use the 1.6 and 1.7. Um, and obviously, when you switch in between those, you actually have to rename them because they do shift. Uh, 
this is the one. This is the 1.6, um, and I can verify that because this is the one. Uh, this is the .181 stock file. Um, this one is the 1.7, which just uses uh, some of the just basic stuff that needs to be um, that you can boot your system into. So um, let me go ahead and just. Uh, so this is 1.7. This is 1.6. Here we go. So here's 1.6. Um, as you can see, it's up here. Um, this is in the event of a failed. Uh, you are boot looped or end logo stuck. Hit enter, and you're gonna hit option one to rest sorry, restore uh, Droid Razor to 6.12.181. Um, after that's done, let it boot up. Um, Go ahead, yeah, pretty much let it boot up. Um, there isn't a, a different alternative way that I've seen other people use. They've actually sent me, um, let me go ahead and, uh, they've actually sent me, uh, one, two, um, video responses of how they did theirs, and it's somehow, it, I mean, it works for them, and if it works for you, then go ahead and use it. I'm gonna go ahead and use 1.7, because that's what they're using right now. Um, you get to 1.7, sorry for the camera straight guys, I'm holding this with one hand. Um, you get into here, uh, what you want to use is, if you get stuck at the M logo or boot animation or the update fails because of, um, uh, forward slash TMP, forward slash side load, uh, pre-installs, um, go ahead and use option one. Option one will do the side loads and everything that needs to be done on 181. Uh, I guess all the files that are needed. Um, when you're done with that, it's going to give you the option. This is what it looks like. It's just make sure you have the 6.16.211 upgrade on the SD card um, ready to install uh, Motorola recovery. Um, I actually did not do that. I did the complete opposite. Once it was done, I actually. After it finishes uh, flashing, you get back into um, uh, you get back onto a working um, operating system. Um, from there, what I did is um, after I got here, I pretty much showed you the method of what I did before, and that's getting your um, getting uh, gingerbread. I mean, your razor rooted um, to be able to. Uh, copy and paste those onto the cache folder and uh, yeah pretty much just zip into CRC into the cache folder um, and you need uh, if if you don't want to do the OTA update I mean the OTA the gigabit uh, root you don't have to it's not mandatory there is a root process for the ICS uh, droid razor um, so that is actually Sorry, this is actually on 1.6, um, hence why I have both of these files uh, in my system. Let me go ahead and rename these. Um, one, two, three. Um, I know I'm dragging on right now. I'm trying to get this done because I got uh, actually other priorities right now. So this is 1.6. Um, and what I liked about how both of them, I don't know why both of them don't have it. But 1.6 actually gives you the option of ice cream sandwich 4.0.4 uh, root, not for gingerbread, or pre-roots of anything under 206 um, for ICS. Um, that's why I like this one more, uh, just because it does give you the um, option to root gingerbread and root um, the ICS if you do lose roots. Now... If you did the OTA uh, root keeper and you lose root, I'll go ahead and I'll also provide you another link. Uh, this one you actually need to download terminal on the marketplace and input them to uh, recover your SU uh, backup. Um, hopefully you guys don't run into any problems. If you guys do, by all means, I will stay here um, as much as I can to see if I can get any other people to come in. Um, there are forums out there that can help you, but again, a lot of these people are going through what I'm in trying to avoid right now, and that's the M boot stuck or boot animation loop. Uh, this is Mobius B117. Drop a message at the comment section below here, and um, 
leave a comment, concerns, questions. If you guys need to give me an in, if you want me to give you an in-depth tutorial on how to do this, by all means, just go ahead and request it. Any other request that you need on how to root your ginger, uh, how to root your gingerbread um, razor, how to root your ICS razor, um, or how to get the update to actually go on. If you run into the uh, error abort uh, forward slash TMP forward slash uh, slide load pre install error status zero or status seven, I can recover that from that. Uh, I can guide you to. Um, recover from that error. As always, I always recommend that your device is at minimum 70%. I know minimum is 50. My minimum is 70. If uh, you're watching this right now, I pray to God that you have your phone on the charger. Um, ideally, go ahead and use your, have your phone at max because the update process is about 5, 10 to 15 minutes. And in case of failure, um, it might be a little longer. So again, have your device booted, uh, I mean, charged somewhere around max and nothing under 70 because it can get very ugly. Um, if you saw my other videos in the, the last couple days, my Razer Max actually was unprogrammable because of a dead battery. Um, I had to use a, um, a Motorola cable that I had to actually makeshift, which was freaking horrifying because without one I was pretty much screwed and I didn't know what else to do so um I'm actually trying to look for that cable right now it's somewhere here but um it's out there um I believe this is it right here 